How did Leo Oddballs? It's Evie Oddly from RuPaul's Drag Race season 11. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to do my MIG from the Orange Alert runway. So stay tuned, cause we're going from this to this. <laughs> First things first, I know I didn't have these on the show, uh, so we gotta get rid of them now. I'm not gonna shave them. <laughs> but, because I got so much extra skin, oh, I'm actually going to tape, tape a bit of it back, just for a second, just for this step. If you have like a regular head with regular amounts of skin that like don't do this, you can probably get away with, uh, like a hairnet, and you wanna do whatever you can to keep this glue all hot and bothered because that's when it's its stickiest. And so you apply the glue. We're just going against the grain like a real rebel. You can like start combing them up. You wanna not only separate every hair like it's like some fancy eyebrow mascara, but you also wanna use like the flattest part of your comb to kind of push them down after you go through. It takes a few layers of glue to actually get everything down flat and down pat and to keep me from revealing my true identity on stage. So <laughs> I'm gonna let that sit for like all of a half a second. And then I'm going to prime my face. It's like painting a house kind of. You want a really good foundation down so that like all the cracks don't show through. Also so that this makeup like hopefully eventually comes off your skin and doesn't fuse to you forever. So you use some translucent powder and you like push it in there. Oh yeah. And I start from the bottom of my brows and push up. feel over it, and if it feels mostly smooth, dust off some of the excess with a gigantic fluffy brush, very gently. Beautiful. My idea for this runway was to be a clown. I'm gonna use some clown white. Just ignore, ignore those parts. <laughs> For this particular paint, I just went in with my fingers. So I'm gonna pull my skin taut and then start in my highlightiest of areas applying hella clown white. Just super duper. Oh yeah. under your cheek holes for that nice bright I'm a woman contour. <laughs> and a little over here, a little over there. And now we blend. And for that, you take um, your fingers that you were just applying your makeup with and then you just uh, pull that makeup everywhere. After I get most of it spread to where I need to be, I'm gently fading it out. It's okay if all of your face isn't like bright white, it's just gotta be the bright whitiest parts. Of course, we gotta get those brows done, so. And then you go ham. You're gonna just carry that white into your ear holes, behind your ear holes, under your chin holes, down the side, across. But I'm still doing those super highlights right there. Cause I don't want people knowing 100% that I'm a man. I wanna blur that line. Now you're gonna just hit the center. With a little bit of mess there. And then hit your boob centers, which are actually like, for me, 
uh, I draw my tits super up and super in. So my nipples become the bottom of my breast. And right around there becomes the center. Because I'm not a slacker, you also get the back of your head, which you just kind of hit wherever. You'll feel it. <laughs> And you start at the center, spread out, spread down, spread back, spread around. Beautiful. This is where I start doing my contouring. So I just took this like bright fire truck, like red, orange, and I start lining my jaw a little above where my actual jaw is especially back here where my mandibles are. And then you start doing your cheek contours and I do mine just like slightly underneath where my cheeks are because I've got like enough cheekbones to fake it. Around the forehead. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah. I'll just, I'll just start the nose. You just, Draw on your cute little clown nose. Ooh. I'm sorry if I'm terrifying y'all. <laughs> I know clown phobia is a real thing. But I love clowns. And then you blend, blend, blend it out, starting at the darkest parts. Ooh, uh, bring a little bit of that color up into your face hole. This works better if you like kind of just apply it and then start blending it out, but it'll still work because the clown white stays wet forever. For creatures that love to stand out, we sure love blending in. And I'm gonna contour underneath my clavicle holes, draw on my full on contour for my, for my breast and I start. Like I said earlier, at my nipple being the bottom. And then I just kind of follow that in a circular motion. Look at that, that's beautiful, that's womanly. Pop your chest out and blend, 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 blend. I'm going to set it all. Take hella translucent powder and you just start going ham. In fact, when I was on the show, I just I just pulled one of these. I'm sorry, don't judge me. Oh yeah, oh beauty. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this fluffy brush I used before and just kind of circular, mm, cascading messes of powder everywhere. Don't forget to get the back of your head. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, we. Oh, that's beauty. Do one good shake for fun. Look. <laughs> <laughs> And then I do my powder contours. I'm just doing straight up orange, just orange as tits. And this will hopefully help bring out some of the orange in my makeup. So I'm applying it directly on top of my contours darkest spots in like a tiny stippling circular motion around the side sticles, free the nips and start at the nip. Carry that color around. You just have to like repeat every single step you do anywhere on your face with this mug. You just have to do the same thing everywhere else. <laughs> All I know is that for any decent nose contour, you have to have like some cute lines on the side of your nose. You just kind of like sketch those in. It's okay if they're not perfect. I don't even remember what eyes I did, but I'm just gonna carry them into a vague eye shape so that I get a sense of how beautiful I'm going to be someday. And then so I'm gonna use that same orange color that we did everything else in life with and this tiny fluffy brush. I'm gonna start at my nose. Make sure that all gets set nice and beauty. And then 
gonna start at my eyeball holes and just like gently blend it into the center so that it doesn't look like some random big white streak. And then I'm just gonna follow that eye shape again very gently. I'm gonna try and keep my life under control today and stay on the eyes. I'm trying, I'm working for you. Clowns wear like weird little triangles underneath and on and around their eyeball holes. So I'm just gonna draw some cute little triangles underneath my eyeball holes. All right, and those are some clowny clown clown triangle clowns. I'm gonna set those with orange. <laughs> with this beautiful orange and my small brush. Just really press the pigment in there. Uh, and then I'm gonna connect my under eyeball triangles to what I did up there and dragging it that contour color actually out back a bit because I like to snatch that face. Beautiful. Now that you are a real indeed life woman, I'm gonna move on to my, uh, my eyebrows. And for this look, because I want those like super clowny evil brows, I'm going to take them way higher than anyone ever should and actually. Sketch in a cute little line. It's okay if it's not perfect. I'm gonna make a cute little eyebrow twin. I'm gonna go in with a liquid eyeliner. And then connect all my edges. And then I actually just use my finger and kind of find where I want the shape to go. I blend it down, blend it out. Don't worry, I'll touch up all that mess I just made. So I start by touching the end of my eyeball and then automatically following the line I drew earlier for my contour. And then you just kind of follow that inwards. Make everything black. Get some powder on my fingers. And then I like to pull my skin. And then you keep your eyeball closed and blow on it until it dries. You can like set it with things if that makes you happy, but <laughs> it's not my character choice. You take a little bit of black eyeshadow, just a tit, you corner it out. You go over and over. Angled something something brush. You're gonna put it in the clown white, and you're gonna clean up the edges, girl. See, look. 2D, 3D and clean. 2D and sloppy, 3D and clean. And then blend it out. You also put on lips. First, clean your lips. Ting. So I start on the outside and I draw up and over. Following the shape of my lip. And then underdraw or overdraw on the bottom. 
like right to where your lip indent thingy is. I don't know what any of this anatomy is called. Taking these beautiful lips that we drew and messing them up by making them way wider. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely it. That's the answer. <laughs> so you're gonna just draw these evil little points. First going out and then connecting in. dots under your eyes too for no good clowny reason so I'm gonna go in with some orange glitter first and this is just like a liquid glitter glitter glue glitter you can set it with more glitter mmm mmm yeah we I believe I did what is my favorite thing to do with makeup and just draw on some highlights with glitter so I went nose hole right in the center spread out hit your dizots hit your under eyeball holes oh my gosh so much glitter ah. so I'm gonna go back in and do some double highlights just just a swipe there <laughs> Boop, right there. Boop. A little streak down the center. Mmm. So, I'm going to um, lazily kind of half ass do mascara out of liquid eyeliner. For this look, I used um, two pairs of 301s stacked on top of each other because they're just these like gigantic clowny lashes. Before you put these on, you have to put on some tiny little biological lashes. And what that'll do is that'll keep your lashes from like drooping all super sad like. So you take a singular lash and whatever type of glue you use, there are people who use like literally anything and everything. The only thing I wouldn't super duper recommend is super glue. You blow on it, you shake it around a bit. These lashes you can basically put like literally right on top of your your actual lashes. And then now we put on the clown lashes. So the front side gets the same glue treatment as before, but the back end of the lash, carry some of that glue over. Gets it directly up on that part. And then right on top of where the other lash is. I think it's like right there vaguely. I stick it right on top. Oh yeah. Set your face with whatever sort of spray thingy you use. So here's the makeup. Um, it's just like lots of sloppy white clown painting with like pops of red and orange, and like the hints of yellow and you've got yourself a citrus circus creamsicle clown. Um, I guess it's just time to put on the last little touch. Here's the final look uh, for the orange creamsicle clown from the citrus circus. She's serving you camp. She's serving you rinds. She's serving you low-hanging fruit. <laughs> you can find me on social media at oddlyevie or Evie Oddly.
I'm usually one of those two. <laughs> Till the circus comes to town. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.